with Sean Goldring and Mari Barada Mayasa. We'll be doing the strategic management in the hotel and hospitality industry. Through presentation, Kohot Kati. The company we have chosen to do is Compass Group. Other subsidiary we've chosen to investigate is Eurist, UK, and Ireland. Uh, we will start off with an introduction to the mother company, Compass Group, and then we will continue with the subsidiaries, followed by the introductions to Eurist, the vision and mission statements, aims and objectives, followed by the test and analysis, analysis of the macro environment, and then the four or five forces, and a SWOT analysis of the company, and we'll conclude with recommendations. Uh, the Compass Group, the mother company, was founded in the UK as Factory Canteens in 1941. The company focused on food and it operates in over 45 different countries. It works with over 55,000 client locations across the world and has around 600,000 people employed within the company. The Compass Group subsidiaries are vast and we have uh, subsidiaries such as Eurus, Eurus Support, Omega Security Services, uh, Levi Restaurants, and many more. Eurus UK and Ireland was first founded in, is a leading provider of food services in the UK and has been going for over 50 years. It delivers contemporary food service solutions and it caters for businesses, it caters food for businesses and workplace industry clients from the boardroom to the tea room. And then comes to the vision and mission statement. And the vision statement is that they to be the world class provider of contracted service and support services we own for our great people, our great service and our great resort. And then the mission statement is everyone in Compass is committed to consistently delivering superior service in the most efficient way for the shared benefit of our customers, shareholders and the employees. And then the aim for this project is to analyze the various approaches to strategic planning and activities of the subsidiary company especially for the Euro UK. And then the, object, the objective is to analyze the macro environment of subsidiary company URS, URS UK and then to investigate if URS is an attractive business investment using Porter 5 forces. And then to, to evaluate URS UK internal environment through SWOT analysis and then the last thing is to, con to conclude and giving our recommendation. Now we'll go through the PESTEL analysis. The PESTEL analysis is used to investigate the effects that the macro environment has on the company, starting with the political factors, the human rights factor, the importance of this factor is that in 2006, the UK Companies Act was introduced where it set requirements for the companies to provide a human rights strategic report annually. The actions that the, that the Euros has taken and Compass Group has taken for this is that it ensures to provide correct training and education to their procurement team so they know which supplies to work with. This is where they have introduced the e-learning program for this training. Secondly, they have created a Speak Up Hotline initiative where people in the company, anyone can call this hotline to, deter, to let the company know if anything that goes against human rights is happening within the company. The second part of the political part of the pest analysis is Brexit. The importance of Brexit is due to, the, is due to Brexit, it might affect the supply chain of a company. This is because the import costs might increase there may be new potential tariffs and there may be staff shortages. The action that the group have taken is to engage with key suppliers and wholesalers to identify Brexit readiness. The second action they have taken is where possible the group has increased its operational efficiencies and has engaged with clients to review their pricing. 
and then move to the economic perspective. The first factor that we found is the, the fall of the UK inflation rate, which is according to the Office for National Statistics. As for March 2020, inflation rate is fell down to 1.5%. And then <coughs> the action that's been taken is to improve efficiency through minimum management, uh, supplier rationalization, and labor scheduling. And then the second one is to improve productivity and with the increased use of technology. And then the second factor is coronavirus, which is uh, due to current pandemic, U.S. is suffering its business because all the schools, the public events, the stadiums are closed. And then the action that been taken is donate over 25 tons of surplus food to people in need and then they also open the 20 pop-up stores in NHS hospital to support the key workers. The social part of the plan analysis is the first factor is promoting diversity. The importance of promoting diversity is that Compass Group, the main company, believes that working environments bring out the best in people and determine that Compass Group should be a place where everyone feels welcome and has a fair chance to get on. The action that the group has taken for this is firstly they encourage women to start their culinary career by providing courses for women and secondly they have go a step further and they find positions for female chefs where they may have timing better for women so that they can have a better work-life balance. The second factor is for social is healthy food trends. The importance of this is consumers want healthy food. In the UK now, free from is the UK's fourth fastest growing category. The actions that the group has taken is they design with health in mind. The report, this, is, this is demonstrated through the five nudges that the group has created. The first being redesigning the menu. Compass Group aims to, for, to offer healthier options and highlights these options to entice customers to choose these healthier options. Changing the food layout, so offering healthier options at the beginning of the buffet rather than at the end of the buffet. Redesigning the restaurant so that they have a healthier atmosphere, for example, switching up booths with tables instead of booths and bars because people will tend to eat less and will eat healthier. Guiding the food decisions. This means making customers feel good about what they choose, uh, choosing the healthy option, for example. Rethinking what is on offer. This means that the group is creating food with healthier substitutes, for example, reducing the amount of salt, fat, and sugars in the food. <coughs> and then, for the technology, we found that the first factor is the technology preventing food waste. And it is to be believed that 33% of all food produced globally is wasted, and approximately 45% crops that is being grown like uh, vegetable and fruit is wasted. And then the action that's been taken by the company is by using the benefit of the technology. We saw the first one, Fred Farms, which is it's a loop a hydroponic system that allow the production to get consistent harvest every day in a year. And then the second one is called LeanPad. It provides waste management for commercial, <coughs> commercial kitchen and it gives all the staff to track the, the food that being wasted and thrown. The last one is Blue Wrap. It's a device that can extend the self of the fresh fish and the meat by creating a consistent atmosphere throughout the products. The second factor for technology is the risk of digital work for businesses such as technology failure, phishing, malware, malware attacks, loss in confidential data, 
penetrating business as well as damage to their brand reputation by increasing the use of social media. And then the action that's been taken is to maximize the ex effectiveness of information system and technology and then to invest in people and technology to strengthen each platform and increase cyber security to prevent data loss. Okay, so for the environmental factor, the first one is sustainability. The importance is that annually about 9.7 billion pounds of food waste is in the UK and it's estimated that 1.53 million tons of plastic waste was produced by the UK and 53% of that food waste was actually produced by the service sector. So the actions that the group, Compass Group and yours are doing is that it has actually signed a pledge, a plate pledge, whereby 2030 they aim to reduce the food waste by 50% in the UK. The process that they have that they have designed to do this is a three-step process where they uh, have prevention, recovery, and recycling. The second factor that the group is doing is they work with the suppliers to reduce their packaging material. The second factor to the environmental test analysis is the coronavirus. The importance is that the organization um, is able to and has a huge role in battling the impact of coronavirus and it makes a real difference in these uniquely challenging times. So some of the ways that Compass Group has done this it has is it has provided 10,000 free food boxes to its employees and has donated 500,000 pounds of food to the charity uh, Fair Share that aims to fight hunger and waste in the UK. The second action that they have taken is they have signed a pledge that has three main objectives, which is to support their own employees um, within this challenging time, is to publish clear and simple advice for customers, and lastly to help communicate in Britain through communication community in Britain through this pandemic. So from, from the legal, we found that the, perf the first factor is uh, food safety law, which is especially in the UK, all the food business are required to have hazard food plan. And then the action that's been taken is to create hazard principle with the, within the company and then to communicate it to all the employees and then monitor it, monitor all the hazard practices. And then the last thing is to keep keep it all in record. And then the second factor is the health and safety law. Companies in the UK are regulated for health and safety law procedures by law and then the actions are create HSE program which continues audit to improve the culture of health and safety within the company. And then to maintain and monitor the health and safety procedures and then, after we analyzed the festival for the U.S., we found that there are two key drivers, which is the first one is environmental factor, which is the sustainability. By having a company that practices green methods is becoming the key in organization and customer demanding company to start using this practice or they will not use their services. For campus groups, environmental factors have huge effect on their business and they have made major effort in becoming a sustainable company. And then <coughs> the second key driver is social factor, which is the healthy food trends. Keeping up with the trends is also key factors in US and Compass Group as, a, as food is always trending because it it is a key necessity to people and U.S. serve food solution to their customer therefore keeping up with the, the trend and proving customer with what they expect is important and then <coughs> the scenario 
we found that the best scenario of the two key drivers that I was talking about is number four, where the company has high sustainability, sustainability and high health, healthy food trends. This is because these two factors give the company competitive advantage, where the through practicing sustainability standard, it can save the company man, money, reducing their operating costs, but it also creates a good brand image for the company and bringing in new customer and retain current customer. Through having high health food trend, it, it currently meets customer expectation where customer want to have option for healthy Food and it means that a company can stay relevant and keep customers interested in their products. The next part of this is we will analyze the company through four to five courses to determine if Eurus and is an attractive investment for investors. The first course of four to five courses is the threat of new entrants. For Eurus, we said that the threat is low. And this is because Compass and Tuxedo are the only two caterers that exceed the one billion turnover mark, one billion pound turnover mark. The barriers that the U.S. and taking is that firstly, it's at the forefront of industry innovation, so it's always having something new to their products. Secondly, they challenge every part of their supply chain to find efficient savings that can realize within their food service operation. Thirdly, they offer customers the promise of satisfaction guarantee or they receive their money back. Fourthly, they teach their employee the skills so that they can give customers outstanding service and they put their customers, they put themselves in customer shoes, what would the customers like. The second part of force by forces is the threat of substitutes. For this, we said it was high. The reasoning for this is because in 2019, the number of pubs in the UK increased by 0.8% due to food sales. The ways in which they're tackling this is through the barriers of firstly, continually, they evolve to keep pace with the shifting behaviors, tastes, and needs of the customer. Secondly, they offer the dishes to customers that are sustainable through having sur through sourcing food and products sustainably and responsibly. Uh, thirdly, the culinary teams develop delicious and nutritious dishes, uh, which appeal both to meat lovers and vegetarians, uh, without compromising their flavors and textures. Fourthly, they developed a program of leadership and action which focuses on managers who can create a positive working environment which aids managers in leading teams more effectively and therefore bettering the customer experience. The third factor to Porter's five forces is the power of bias. We said that this is high. The reason for this is because customers both desire and more often demand initiative, innovative alternatives. The ways in which the company is tackling this is through the barriers of, due to the size of the mother company, Compass Group, they can offer services to customers at the lowest price possible compared to their competitors. They have a lot of experience within the industry as they have been running for almost 50, for over 50 years and Eurus is a leading food provider in the UK. Thirdly, they have a wide range of clients from catering to tea rooms boardrooms, businesses, and workplace industry clients. Fourthly, they focus on the customer's needs. They regard relationships as personal and intimate, and most of all, build upon the understanding of the customer. So they cater towards what the customer needs. Porter's five forces for the fourth factor is the power of suppliers. This, we said, was low. The reasoning for this is, in the hospitality industry, research has found that customers that have great awareness of the problems regarding the environment and prefer to make eco-friendly purchases. Therefore, the initiatives that they have taken is through
careful food planning, it helps manage food costs and reduce wastage of food. The company is working towards creating a transparency of supply chain and they have identified potential risks and opportunities to create more of a positive impact on the people, animals and the planet they shared with us. Thirdly, they work directly with suppliers to reduce the amount of disposable packaging. Fourthly, they're committed to using their buying power for good and they choose to work with suppliers who share the same values as Compass Group and US. And then the last force is a competitive rivalry, which is what we found is low. And <coughs> Compass Group's remain for and away the largest player in the sector with UK revenue of 1.98 billion last year and then <coughs> the barriers is new range and seasonal dishes are added throughout the year and menus are designed with nutritional value and contribution to healthy balanced diet in mind and then rely on our people to rely on their people to deliver service to, to their client and consumer so it's important that they will try and will look after and then they say that they want the best practice to be the standard practice and then to conclude the quarter five forces is for the threat of new entrant is low Threat of new substitute is high, threat of power of buyer is high, the power of supplier is low, and then the competitive rivalry is low. And then we believe that overall it's still favorable to invest in the company. And then uh, moving to the SWOT analysis, and then the first one we're gonna talk about is the strengths of the company. And then the first the first strength is that they are part of globally recognized company and then comes to excellent food sourcing that means that they have a good agreement for their suppliers and the farms to supply their foods and raw materials <coughs> and then they provide catering services for public events schools hospital and commercial offices and then they have a strong social and environmental purposes and then the weaknesses are since they are a big company that have a lot of staff uh, it means that they require more intense training to their staff and then the company is growing too fast which means that it's lost its own identity and then more development is needed and then the last one is surface not always up to standard that we found in in your uh, customer review and then <coughs> the opportunities are provide service for public events and then uh, local government in UK is promoting their public events and tourism also <coughs> International and European students have growth in UK and then they have, they have the ability to attract new events such as wedding, social gathering and alumni. And for the threat, uh, it's the current COVID-19 pandemic. I think most of the business is having this threat and then loss in employment due to Brexit and then it might have a new regulation or law about operating a business due to Brexit and then it might interfere the, eco the economic stability due to Brexit such as lower net migration, lower business investment, uh, lower productivity growth and then lower output and then <coughs> To conclude the pastoral analysis, the the quarter five forces and the SWOT analysis, we found that from the pastoral we have two key drivers, which is the environmental side 
it reaches the sustainability and then the social part is the healthy food strand and then <coughs> after we analyze the the Porter 5 fortunes we believe that it is still uh, favorable for investment and then the two key main strength for the SWOT is part of globally recognized company and then they have a social and environmental they have strong social and environmental purposes and then <coughs> come to findings what we what we find after we doing this project is that we 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 have several ways in which a company can be analyzed and then the macro and micro environment of a company hugely if affects the organization strategy and then how to use tools such as SWOT analysis to determine the future direction of the business and the last one is there are key factors that a company can use control their company strategy and for the result after we doing these projects are the first one give different view for the give different view of the company from different perspective through using the tools such as SWOT analysis, pastel analysis and Porter 5 forces has aided in helping to determine the position that the company is in and then in terms of investment company procedures and what factor affect the company operation the tools have also been used to analyze and determine if the strategy the company is using is actually working for the implication that we found for a US for the implication that we found for US as a company is the coronavirus and they claim that due, due to the current pandemic the lost revenue is expected to be between 25% to 30% this year and then the second implication is Brexit which is loss in employees they also the, the company also drawing up emergency recruitment plans to fill roles if the European worker leave after Brexit. For problems and limitations that we encountered through this project is firstly we found limited information about the, the subsidiary company Eurus. Uh, secondly, due to the coronavirus, the pandemic, group members of us of our, ours had to actually go home so we were left two group members short and again also we had to find a different ways of communication because of the coronavirus and we had to use communication through technology which we overcame and the last limitation that we found was that maybe we should have changed the subsidiary to maybe US to US as it may have a bit more information on that subsidiary compared to US UK. For the future research, we found that we would like to know a bit more about Eurist and its history background on the UK, how it actually started. We would like to know the future trends uh, that Eurist will follow. And then thirdly, we would like to see what happens once Brexit is completed to the company. Fourthly, we also would like to see how much coronavirus actually affected US in the long term. Okay, so for the recommendations to US, we found that they have a competitive advantage of sustainability. They know where their business can have the biggest impact and take into account what matters most to their stakeholders um, alongside the industry trend is important to the group and last year they formulated the sustainability strategy so we suggest that they continue this because it can be a competitive advantage as it gives the company a good image it caters to the customers once and it differentiates the company from the marketplace giving it a competitive advantage the second recommendation is we found that it has unique capabilities so firstly that they can offer their clients a personalized solution 
for their clients' needs. And this is because they are in a unique marketplace in terms that they focus on food and they have a multi-sector operation. So they can offer multiple services to their customer even though they're focusing on food. Making it a unique capability. Thank you for listening to our presentation. We hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.